Hi guys, hope you're well. Owenate Briggs here, creator of Fairy Diaries magazine. So if you've gone onto our website, www.fairydiaries.com, um, you'll see that we have a um, monthly best beauty buys section. I think it's called um, best beauty buys of the month. Um, so if you just go through, click the blog tab, scroll down, have a read of the various articles, um, you'll get to the best beauty buys of the month um, article. So we do this every month. So this is part of the best beauty buys uh, for November. Now we're going to be trialing out this product, uh, which is the Fenty Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer. And I've got it in the um, Coco Naughty. Now I'm a little bit late trying this bronzer because it's been out for quite a while. Um, but you know, I wanted to give it a try because even during winter time, it's nice to still look bronzed and look, you know, glowy. And I just wanted to give this bronzer a try because I've got many of the Fenty Beauty products and I wanted to add this to my collection. Um, and I was using a cheaper bronzer before, which was doing a good job, but you know, for some reason I felt like this bronzer will be very good to use and i did try and buy it before um but it was sold out in harvey nichols um so you know i had to use other versions but finally i managed to get my hands on it and we're going to be trialing it out today now before the tutorial um, if you check out our other beauty uh, tutorials on our youtube channel um you'll see that you know i usually use fenty beauty anyway um for my foundations um you know, uh, for you, all their brushes and, and the highlighters and things like that. So I've done my usual uh, makeup routine. Now, the foundation I've got on is from e.l.f. Um, go and check out our e.l.f. Um, beauty tutorial as well on our YouTube page. And you'll see, you know, um, my review of those products. But, you know, I've got this on now, um, the e.l.f perfect finish foundation and the camo concealer and then for a powder i've got you know my mac um studio fix um powder foundation on top and i've just used the fenty beauty highlighters um as a blusher uh, in ginger binge and moscow mule um, and i've just put on some mascara so i'm now gonna go in and use the bronzer this is where i would use the bronzer um, in my makeup routine I might have some eyeshadow on before I put on the bronzer but I wanted you to guys I wanted you guys to see the full effect of the bronzer without the distraction of an eyeshadow so this is the packaging here we'll get rid of the fingerprints I've got OCD <laughs> so this is the packaging here it's such a beautiful um you know it's a really beautiful packaging um I love the gold and the reflective gold on there and you can you can see the color at the back which is coco naughty so um i'm just gonna oh i just love the color as well i bought this online so i don't know whether this is going to be my skin tone or not but from the online image it seemed like what i wanted to achieve so we'll be trying this on for the first time live um with you guys so let's give it a go so usually i'll start with my cheeks so I'm using my brush from MAC. If you've seen my other videos before, I love this brush. It's brush 135S. I just love it because it's flat and pointed and, you know, thick all at the same time. So it's really good to just get in to your cheekbones. And it's also a good blusher brush as well. So let's go in. Oh, so exciting. Now, I usually just suck in my cheeks. And just dust up. Okay, put a little bit more on. Uh. Now, first impressions, it is, you know, it blends really nicely with my skin tone. It's not really doing too much, which is I quite like. And I'm just going to take my mirror here a little circular mirror just to get a closer look uh leaning more into the light it's very subtle it's very very subtle and i do like it i do like that I and mean, if you've seen a lot of my videos just cleaning up the mirror a bit you'll see that i do like my makeup to be quite subtle so i am you know happy with this just based on first impressions so yeah i am definitely pleased so i'm just going to 
go in now on my nose on the bridge of my nose i usually like to just do a little bit of contour on my nose not too much and um, i've got a great contour brush here from i think it's from bare essentials you can this is also quite nice to do a contour this pointy brush from fenty um, but i'm gonna use it to do a little bit of highlight so i'm not gonna use that right now so just gonna go in there and this also has a bit of a shape to it as well and now i just like to make a face to strength to straighten my nose like that i do really like this it's very natural and i like that i wouldn't expect it to be this kind of uh, natural looking just a little bit here on my chin and that's you know pretty much it actually i wouldn't put any more so my verdict is i really like it um it's natural blends in nicely it's like the perfect brown for me the perfect perfect brown and you know feel free to leave you know a note in the comments to let me know your thoughts on it i was going to put on some eyeshadow but actually i quite like this look if you watch my videos i do like to look quite natural um, but what i will put on is just a little bit of highlighter to make it pop so i've got my fenty beauty highlighter in um mean money and hustler baby so i'm gonna use that to highlight and i normally use the shiny bit here just to highlight my cheeks Okay, so that's nice. Just do a little bit on the tip of the nose there. And that's quite, you know, natural. I'll just take a little, sorry, I'll just take my brush again, just dab off the bronzer on the back of my hand and then just kind of use that to blend it in a little bit so it's not so bright. Mm, I'm loving it. I look like a little brown goddess. I absolutely love it. Okay, guys, so I might just put some eyeshadow for you just to give you a little bit of joy um i won't leave you hanging like that so i've got my charlotte tilbury palette here we have a tutorial on this as well on the channel so just go check out the videos and i oh i made a mess of this palette because it's one of my favorites but um you can see the colors there it's well used but um i think what we're going to go for for this look just to make it pop a bit let's go for the electric blue Let's do it, guys. So we're going to use that blue there, okay? I'm going to be looking into this mirror as well. Now, there is a bit of gold on this brush. This is the Urban Decay brush, so I hope... No, it's not ruining the effect. I'm just going to use the stubby a bit just to get rid of it there. Yeah, that's much better. Okay. In here a bit more cute now let's do the other eye try and just get rid of this gold on this bit here anyway i can just use a stubby a bit that works quite well to get the color you know really really bright on the eye is a great look for Halloween actually a very bold kind of look I'm just going to use a sponge just to get rid of the excess on the corner here it 
is the same sponge I used to do my foundation so it's got a little bit of foundation on there and then what you can do is get another foundation brush and just go over and get rid of the blue overspill get rid of the blue there get the brush again and just get rid um just put um the color on any sort of patches that are missing now for the crease hmm i don't know if i'll hmm, let's use this dark it's kind of like a dark green actually let's try that i've never used that one on this palette actually let's try that out sweep that on the crease oh yes lovely very nice that's a real halloween look now perfect and i'm just going to get my mascara actually it looks like this eye is a bit brighter because i used you know more of this side so let me just go over it a bit more Okay, that's better now. I'm just going to use more of the green as well on this crease. Match the intensity. Okay, I think that's nicely matched now. Now I'm just going to go in a bit more with my mascara. I did have mascara on, but now I've put the eyeshadow. It's kind of, you know, got in on it a bit. So I use the Great Lash Mascara, the classic by Maybelline. It's the classic for a reason, guys. Go get it. And it's very cheap, especially in the UK. And it does the job. And has been doing the job for years. I don't talk as much as the other makeup bloggers, as you can see. <laughs> it's hard to talk and do mascara at the same time. So, guys, what do you think? I think that's pretty good. Okay, so I'm going to finish off the look by putting just some lip gloss on. So I've got my favourite affordable lip gloss here, and it's the Oh My Gloss again um, by Rimmel London. Look at that juicy pink. It's only like $4.99 and it's so juicy. Because the eyeshadow is quite strong, that's really all you need. So a nice little balance with the pink there. And that's it guys. What do you think? Let me know in the comments below. Now, um, we're going to be doing more YouTube videos, so make sure you subscribe, tell your friends. Um, fairydiaries.com is also up and running, so go subscribe over there. There you can get up to 50% off our fashion and beauty affiliates. Okay, so it's lots of swag, lots of drip. I mean, you'll be the hottest thing on the block. So go check out fairydiaries.com. Go check out um, all the videos on our YouTube page because I have a lot of the um, affiliates brands on there, um, you know, to showcase their products. 
um, but you can buy them directly from fairadiaries.com with your subscription using my special discount code um, and go look at all our other social media as well so we're on instagram um tiktok um twitter pinterest twitch um what a, which else facebook so we'll be back on twitch again next week with our live stream so we live stream on youtube and on twitch um all the social media details are in the about tab on this channel go follow go support we are the future of fashion and you're going to be looking swagged out for a fraction of the cost see you next time Bye bye